I think you sound like a skylark, just about to take off in an early dawn. Wonderful, lovely. <laughs> a skylark or a wood nymph? Which one do you think it is? Well, I haven't seen a wood nymph for some time. <laughs> <laughs> seen plenty of nymphs in the old ledge, I'll tell you. Footballer country, but never a wood nymph. <laughs> How are you, Stuart? I'm wonderfully well. Never felt better. I love you because you've been around forever and you keep on keeping on. There's no getting rid of you, is there? You no, know, I don't want to die just yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in my plans anyway. It may, it may come sooner or later, but uh, I'd rather it later than sooner. You know, you've been so successful in what you've done and you've had such a blessed career where you've always been in work. Never, never, never. Oh, come on. I've, I've made underachieving an achievement. I've, I've raised <laughs> mediocrity to a fine art. Don't let it fool anyone. You aspired <laughs> to be average, didn't you? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, I set out to enjoy myself and I've been, I've been so lucky that a lot of people have said well if he's enjoying himself so am i you're also one of those that, that, that is lucky that you've gone out of fashion come back into fashion and of course you're back in again now people like anton deck love to have you on True. are you content now uh well i've never been content i've always thought i could do better i think that's the important goal in life is must do better it's always appeared on my school reports every report said can do better and uh, the, the headmaster said, one day you'll realise your potential, Hall. I said, well, I'd be very grateful if you would tell me what my potential is. Nobody can tell you what your potential is. And you don't know yourself until you're uh, popped down six feet into the ground. That's a shame, isn't it, when we have to look it back is. retrospectively and it's all too Absolutely. late. Are you happy with what you are, which is an entertainer and a broadcaster and an all-round nice guy? Did you want to be a certain thing, an actor or a radio DJ? Was there a specific aim you had? No, no, I want to be a motor racing driver. I want to be a footballer. So I signed for Crystal Palace. They offered me 20 good a week and uh, 10 pounds in the winter. And I said it won't keep me in tarts and fags. So I turned my back on that. And then Joe Mercer used to smack me and smack me and smack me. He said, you, you would have played to a very high standard. I said, well, I mean, football couldn't afford me. Then I did two years of motor racing. I wanted to be a motor racing driver. I never won a race. I was always second or third. I realized I wasn't, I was quick, but not quick enough. Mm. Uh, and then I started to talk about everything. And, everything just fell into place I don't think you can really plan a career you just you just hope for the best you you join the pool and say yeah I'm learning to swim and if I can swim faster than the other guy I'll be successful mm. and I'll be moderately successful let's put it on the line are there ever dark moments on these long cold winter nights when you look at yourself and think god I could have been Paul Gascoigne or a legendary footballer no, I think, I think uh, I'm always quoting the parable of the prodigal son, which I think contains the most uh, wonderful phrase in the English language. When he was there in the midst of harlots and he was fain and filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. The phrase is, and when he came to himself, I'm always telling my children, my grandchildren, you must come to yourself. You must learn to live with yourself. Who are you? Look in the mirror and tell yourself quite pointedly who you are. And then you can progress in life. A lot of people won't do it. They, mm. don't, they, they don't dare to do it. And yeah. I'm always saying, come to yourself. Well, I yeah. looked in the mirror this morning and I saw yeah. myself stood there full full length, naked. And I looked like I was modelling for scatter cushions. And I looked at myself and thought, I know what I am, deeply unattractive. No, no, no. Many people would declare you to be something of out of Michelangelo or Donatello, an Italian model, something that Dolce et Gabbana would treasure for life. <laughs> so somewhat of a mini kind of Botticelli angel, is that what you're telling me? Is that <laughs> uh, No, Botticelli is very, very fat. Very, right, exactly. Very, very, they, all had, they, all, they all had big knockers as well. <laughs> well, I've got those. I'm pushing a C cup at the moment, Stuart. I'm thinking of having surgery on those. It, it's when you get 44 double D, you've got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Were you always funny? Because, I mean, that's what we know you for. You've always got a line and something to say. Let's face it, not, not um, all footballers and people in sports are, are the most uh, erudite, are they? Well, they won't realise that football is the greatest entertainment in the world. And people go along to enjoy themselves. And footballers won't realise that. They take it very seriously. They're taking part in a great entertainment on the world stage. You ask somebody who's a thespian, he's playing Hamlet, he's out there to entertain. Mm. Ask somebody, an operatic diva, they're out there to sing and sing and sing and charm the pants off you. Footballers don't agree with me at all. Mm. No. I, I have to say, uh, charming the pants off you is not something I've ever considered. I'd just like to think about that for a moment. Well, just run on that. Talking of which, you've now had your first click. 
Yes, and I'm not liking it because I've got a study here that's full of clocks. I live in the 19th century. My hero is Napoleon, and I'm, I'm surrounded by Napoleonic memorabilia, clocks and pictures and everything. And in the middle of it all is this dirty, great laptop and an even dirtier, great black <laughs> printer and a mouse it's awful and i went to the congleton learning center they treated me like a child all these concubines were there beautiful girls well, none of them over the age of 25 Goodness and gracious. all looking looking down at me and uh, wow. saying well you know I, I said look girls it's easy for me to teach my grandma pole dancing than for you to teach me the secrets of the computer but nevertheless we got down to it and started clicking away <laughs> clicking away <laughs> and, uh, and eventually I'm typing with two fingers I started with one I'm so, I that can't type nice. I've always had a secretary I've always had somebody to type for me and suddenly I'm on my own and I feel lonely you're like mm. me because I'm musical you know I've just moved on to the third side of the triangle last week I think we're, we're making the same progression I, I, by the way I didn't think this would be so much fun by the way talking to you about computers Stuart. I'm enjoying myself thank you for that um, well, why not I'm 80 years old uh, I did broadcasting for 52 uh, and I, I feel I'm just uh, sort of getting to my prime I feel life is before me mm. not at the back I never look back I'm always looking for I've never been busy in my life I'm doing all <laughs> sorts of stuff new things are coming along this that, and the other uh, and I'm really enjoying my life and, and that, that's true but I must tell you mm -hmm. that uh, one of my fellow students at the Learning Centre mm. uh, was a, a very tall, uh, ascetic, straight-backed chap. Uh, a tall chap yes. uh, with grey hair pouring over his computer. Yes. And I had him as a retired colonel mm. or some mm. such. I said to him, excuse me, I said, but uh, why do you want to be online? He said, my dear boy, it gives me access to unlimited free pornography. <laughs> 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 with that turn, it turned that ignore me completely with that his computer <laughs> well let's face it we know why we're all online and he ain't far no. off the market you've just got to be very careful what you search for haven't you really absolutely <laughs> yes if you're a gardener don't put running up your trellis you don't know what you're going to get on those websites um, when I'm fiddling when I'm fiddling around and my wife comes in so, well, what are they doing I said, I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking for a shopping site for you darling just <laughs> shopping site <laughs> they're just lifting a very heavy wardrobe that's all they're yeah. doing yeah. Um, or, or playing on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of uh, what you've learned from this computer, other than the obvious, has it been a revelation as to how much information's out there? Yeah, because I've, uh, I'm doing essays for, uh, I write a page in the Radio Times every week and I've got uh, three magazines up here, the Lancashire, Yorkshire, Cheshire magazine, and now it's easier to file a copy online or email it or do whatever. I've now got this printer to scan everything, I could do things in colour. So it, obviously Lovely. it's going to open up new avenues for me and I'm determined to enjoy it. <clears throat> I've got this stuff here and it's here for life. So if you've got something there, you might as well say I'm going to enjoy it. Even though it's an eyesore ruining your office it is an eyesore I'm just I'm still cherishing that image of you looking at yourself naked in the mirror Stuart we better morning. go the producer's scouring through the why glass why is he scouring it's a why woman why is he scouring because uh, she's got the image as well that's what it is listen this has been a great pleasure lovely to it's talk to you me. come on great. anytime and uh, good luck at your www dots and uh, thank you very much to BBC First Click you can find out more by going to 08000 150 950 that's the number 08000 150 950 Stuart Hall lovely to talk oh, to you beautifully beautifully said what a lovely beautiful. voice you have how do I rehearse? Like you ought to work on those phone lines, you know, of an evening. £1.50 a minute, I think they are. Uh, we better dash. Thank you, Stuart. Right. Okay, Tom. Take care.